to show you how to create reflective surfaces I just downloaded this asset that already have some reflective surfaces so let's remove them and now we can start Create a 3D cube, shape it and move it to the position we want the mirror to be in. For the mirror, we'll create a material and attach it to the object. In our hierarchy, create light reflective probe to reflect everything that is in our scene. Make sure it's a child of our mirror and set the position to zero. Click on the edit volume button and edit the volume to be just a little bit bigger than our mirror. After we'll finish the mirror, you can change the size to make it fit a bit better and look clearer. Play with it until you find the thing that fits you perfectly. To make everything easier to see for now, we'll disable gizmos but remember to enable it later. Just click the gizmos button on the top right corner of the scene view. We want the mirror to reflect in real time to change the type of the reflective probe to real time. It can also help us now to see the changes without baking each time. On the mirror material, change the metallic and smoothness to 1. The metallic control, how reflective the mirror will be, and the smoothness control, how clear the image will be. You can change the color to fit the environment and the lighting, but for now we don't need to. We can change the reflective probe's intensity a bit to make it clearer, but remember, we want it to fit the environment. That's the only way it will look realistic. Now duplicate it and see how it can help us to create a real life looking window. Using a new material we'll create for the window and changing its mode to transparent, we will use the colors alpha and the metallic value to make the window transparent, but of course not fully, so it will reflect a bit back to us. On windows, it's more important to change the color to make it fit the environment better. When we press play and move the player, we will see that he is not really showing in the mirror. That is because the reflection probe doesn't refresh. That's an easy fix, change the reflection probe refresh mode to every frame. Now that we press play and move the player, we will see that the player is reflecting on the window and in the mirror. If you use a kind of FPS with the player in the scene, it will look way better on the reflection. And if it doesn't look better, change the reflection probe size until it does. If you are doing any type of game that is not a first person, Remember the physics of mirrors and try to compensate it. So like half of my time is wasted here. When we play now, we'll see the game is really slow. It's because the reflection probe set to every frame and it's like we're baking it every frame from start. That is why we are usually gonna use the reflection probe in windows and stuff like this and set the mode to bake on awake so it will only bake one time. Or even better, just bake it before. If you want to create actual mirrors, this is a better way to do it. After you watch both videos, let me know which way is better and why do you think so. I'll see you there. Bye!